A local mother is now being held without bail tonight. It's a story that we've been following since August when we were exposed to a local house of squalor. Erica Murray barely spoke inside of a Worcester courtroom today, but pleaded not guilty to murder and other charges in the case. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell was there and joins us live in Blackstone with more details that came out of court today. During today's arraignment, Erica Murray didn't really show any emotion, but she did speak clearly as she pleaded not guilty to nine different charges. Count one, charging murder. Nine times, Erica Murray proclaimed her innocence. The 31-year-old mother from Blackstone is accused of killing two of her babies, concealing the death of a third, and forcing her four living children to stay in a trash-filled, rodent-infested home. There were stacks of soiled diapers that were piled about a foot or so high. Police launched their investigation into Murray in August after a neighbor discovered the squalid conditions. During searches of the home, police found the remains of three babies. Prosecutors say one was wrapped in sweatpants and still had the ability cord attached. The other two were clothed, but only their skeletons remained. The baby was wearing a diaper and a onesie. The police then searched the other bedroom and inside the only closet in that bedroom, inside a cardboard box, they found a third dead baby. Murray's attorney has said Murray has mental health issues and also argues there's no way to determine how the babies died. There's no evidence that Miss Murray did anything to cause their deaths. There's no evidence of any medical emergency that she shouldn't have known about, that should have prompted her to call 911 or get medical help. There's none of that. Over the summer, Murray's home was condemned and torn down. Raymond Rivera, Murray's longtime boyfriend and the father of her children, is also facing several charges and is being held on $100,000 bail. Erica Murray's mother was in the courtroom today. We asked her if we could talk with her. She did not talk with any reporters as she left. Now, coming up new at 6, what today's hearing revealed about Erica Murray's living children. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. We begin with the latest developments in a horrifying story that we've been tracking for months. The woman who lived in the house of squalor discovered in Blackstone this summer appeared back in court today. Erica Murray entered her plea to a long list of charges, including the murders of two of her babies. New at 6, we're learning new information about her living children. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live in Blackstone. Susan. Today. Today, prosecutors describe the children as profoundly neglected for many in the courtroom today. The details of this case were difficult to hear. How do you plead guilty? Nine charges, nine not guilty pleas. Prosecutors say Erica Murray killed two of her babies, concealed the death of a third, and kept her four living children in filth inside this house in Blackstone. All of the children were placed in this trash filled bedroom and literally isolated in their own home. Investigators have said Murray's infant and three-year-old daughters were neglected. Now we've learned more about their conditions when they were discovered. The three-year-old could neither walk nor talk. The pediatricians had to literally clean the maggots out of her ears so that she was able to hear correctly. The six-month-old similarly was severely malnourished. And it appeared to the pediatricians as though she had spent the majority of her young life on her back. Murray's attorney argued for home confinement, saying the Commonwealth's evidence is thin and that Murray has mental health issues. These children were not the only ones who were never out of that house. She lived there too. Over the summer, that house was condemned and torn down. Murray is being held without bail. Erica Murray is due back in court in February. Live in Blackstone with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.